and you late to the party on Instagram. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to get your first 100 followers on Instagram. And the reason we're doing this is because I've actually helped my 11 year old daughter create an account with her where we have been doing just this building her followers, building her subscribers on YouTube as well. But today we're just going to focus on how she got her first 100 followers on Instagram. Because if an 11 year old can do it, you can do it too. So first of all, do I think it's too late to join Instagram? Not at all. In fact, it's really been interesting to watch how we've created my daughter's channel. We've been doing all the strategies that I know. So I've been teaching her what to do. So I'm going to go through those step by step. But it's been interesting to see how that has affected her sales because she sells her product at markets. And now she's been invited by some other stores to sell at their markets and really starting to grow a name for herself in this industry in in our area. So if you don't know already, she sells slime. <laughs> it's so cute. I didn't even realize how much of a little underground community there is of slimers. And I know slime has been around for a while, but this for her age group is so, so popular. I don't see it dying anytime soon. One of the most popular slimers that my daughter follows on Instagram has over a million followers. This actually, this chick actually has over 9 million followers on on YouTube as well. Like, that's just insane. Anyway, slime. <laughs> it's an industry. So, while I tell you some of these steps, which actually I've got seven, I think I'll give you a bonus one, eight as well. But I'm going to play with some slime while I'm doing it. It's quite satisfying. Go over to Honey Rose Slimes on Insta and follow her. <laughs> There's my plug for her. Oh my God, this is so satisfying. This one smells kind of like bubble gum. It's very sweet. <laughs> I actually like making the slime with it. It's quite cool. Okay, enough of the slime. So the first thing is you really want to know who your audience is. Who are your target market? Usually my daughter, Honey, is going for like that younger age group of 8 to 10 year old girls up to people in their 20s. And then weird mums like me who like doing crafty stuff. You can target a group of people who also love sensory type things, watching ASMR type videos. If you don't know what ASMR is... <laughs> That's a whole nother niche. So as of today, <laughs> Honey has 119 followers and obviously she's 11 years old. So there's been times where she hasn't done days, but I've tried to help her be kind of somewhat consistent. And so these are the things that we've done just to get the first 100 followers. Obviously knowing your audience and stuff like that is step number one, but number two is setting up your account properly. So I'll show you here on the screen. You really need to have a cool profile picture. Now there's a lot of people that have a logo as their picture and that's totally fine, especially in the slime community. But what I found is the people that are really big in slime were actually using their face. And I know from a marketing point of view, when you have a person with a face and you can see their face and you can see their eyes, their subconsciously is an easier connection to be made and an emotional connection than if you just use a logo. So that's why we used her face. Basically, when you want someone to come to your profile, you want them to know immediately what your profile is about. So they know, am I in the right place or am I going somewhere else? So on here we have Honey Rose Slimes, 11 year old Aussie. I sell slime at markets, which she does, account monitored. Now I thought that was really important because obviously she's a child. I'm monitoring the account, I'm doing it with her. And also I've got a link there. It says, watch my new video with a link to her YouTube account. Now, if you are selling something, maybe in an Etsy store, which a lot of slimers do, or you have your own website, or maybe you've got a capture page, definitely put that link in there because that's kind of the only way you can get people to to link to something to potentially get a lead or go buy something. Now, I'm not saying that her account is the best by any means, but what we've done is tried to make it kind of colorful and fun to appeal to lots of kids or people who are kind of kids at heart. There's lots of pinks and purples and blues and colorful things like that. It's not so much about the logos or the specific colors, but it's about the feelings that people get, what the feelings that they feel is really more important than if you have 
have a specific logo and has all the right colors and stuff. So how do people feel when they come to your account? So I hope that what we've kind of achieved here with Honey's account is that it's super fun and colorful and makes you want to get in and do some arts and craft and make slime or watch slime videos. Okay, so moving along, what I did specifically at the beginning is really important. We went and found out who were the biggest slime accounts on Instagram. So we looked up, I don't know if we found them all, but we looked up and we went and followed them. And we had a look at them and we kind of studied them because, you know, we're not going to go and reinvent the wheel, but we're definitely going to go and get inspiration and see what they're doing right. Because obviously if they've got millions and millions of followers, they're clearly doing something right. Gain some insight from what other successful people in your niche are doing. And then the next step is we went and found other slime accounts in our area. So obviously we live in Australia. So the biggest slime accounts are usually in the US. But what we wanted to do was connect into the slime community in Australia. So if you're in network marketing, if you're doing a graphic design account, if you're doing hair tutorials, go and find and connect with and follow other accounts who are in your area. So we went to follow lots of slime accounts in Sydney and Melbourne and Brisbane and had a look who was around. And even if there were small accounts, that's okay because the power of your network can really do great things. So even though you might not be able to get the attention of the big guns in the whole industry worldwide, if you connect with other people in your niche who are in a geographical area, you can potentially go meet up with them. Maybe you can go to an event in your area. What we found now is those people who Honey followed started to get to know her and she started to get to know them. So they were commenting on each other's videos and posts and stuff and just generally helping each other out. Thought I'd show you another quick slime. See how this slime doesn't drip? Actually, Honey listened to people at the markets when uh, parents were buying slime for their little, little kids and little kids seem to get it everywhere. They don't really know how to play with slime properly. So she made a specific slime that doesn't drip for little kids. It's actually really nice even for me. But how cool is that? Knowing your target market and then going and specifically creating a product that they will love or the parents will love. And it's really funny. These sold really well at the last market and people have been asking her about these online. Another thing you can do is go and follow your friends on Instagram, especially for little kids. You know, a lot of her friends are actually Honey's customers. They love buying slime from her. But, you know, if you've got friends in your industry in a niche or even just your general friends, if you're okay with them following your business and say to them, you know, you go follow them first and then go comment on their stuff. And then, and that's actually another step I'll go into in a second. But get just like your friends. It's like, I'm sure you've got a couple of friends that would love to follow you and support your business on Instagram. They might not be long-term customers or long-term followers, but it's just about kind of boosting, getting you right out of the gate and just getting that momentum going. Now, one of the most important things that I've got Honey to do a lot of the days in the week, she hasn't done it all the time, but I basically said to her, if you go comment on 10 people's posts every single day, you'll get a whole lot of followers really, really easily. Go to other accounts in your niche, go to your friend's accounts and just comment nice things. So she would comment like, hey, I love the color of that slime. That's really nice. Oh my gosh, that video is really cool. She'd say, hey, great video. Just nice things like that. And people started to notice her popping up every now and then. And so you go to someone's account, maybe go and like a couple of their posts. Like be genuine though. Like don't be fake, okay, about it. But she'll maybe go onto an account such as like Banana Bear Slimes or Scoopy, which is in a big slime shop here in Sydney and she'll go and generally comment, heart their little pictures. So she's generally being kind. I'm teaching her to be kind to other people and really encourage them, not really expect anything in return, but what will happen naturally is that people will come and check you out. And if you have your account set up properly, they will either comment on your stuff or maybe even follow you back. Now, one of the other things she did was a giveaway. Now, this was really cool. We started to see other slime channels doing this when they were maybe close or trying to reach a goal of so many followers or things like that. So at about, I think it was maybe, I don't know, when she had 60 followers or 70 followers or something like that, she said, I want to do a giveaway. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's put together 
our little pack of a few slimes and a few little sprinkles and sparkles and things like that. So I said, yep, I'm ho happy to post those out. And she put it on there and basically there were some rules. They had to like the post, they had to follow her, and then they had to share it to their Instagram profile or their Instagram story. So there was a couple of rules and that actually helped boost her because obviously a few people shared to their own profile and started to get her a little bit known. So that kind of got her from 60 to 100 quite quickly. And then obviously there is your posting strategy of when you're actually posting your own things, whether it's videos or images. I tend to help honey do, oh, <laughs> Daisy. I tend to help honey do lots of videos because I feel like that's the easiest way to get known and to create those relationships with people. Daisy said she wanted to make a cameo in the video. Do you? So obviously when you're doing your posts and your videos, you've got to have some kind of hashtag strategy. So we went and looked up and found the hashtags that people were using in that industry. What we found was things like slime, slime Australia, slime videos. So have a look for hashtags that suit your brand and not necessarily always going for the biggest hashtags. I'll do another video on hashtags and another time if I've done it already, I will link it to this video and I will put it in the description too. So I hope this video has helped you in your pursuit of your first 100 followers on Instagram. It's pretty simple. There's just steps to follow. If you be really, really consistent, it's pretty easy to get your first 100 followers on Instagram. If you stick to your niche and you're really consistent, go and you be kind and genuine to other people. People will reciprocate and you will build your first 100 followers really quickly. <laughs> I gotta go. The cat is meowing and I gotta go let her out. So I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that notification bell to make sure you get notified when I upload a new video. And if you are looking to build your business online, I have a heap of resources in the description of this video and I'll see you in the next video.